All right. I'm just going to briefly talk on how our system works, right? Um, so this is like a thing here. Take a hard look at that, and I'll briefly talk into it. I might need to flip the screen. This is a layout of how our system works. Now, let's just say you, you have this new company, okay? And that the people behind the company were fraudulent, right? They sold computers, right? Now, so the first fact about this company um, is that they they have a history of of frauding people, right? Um, selling things that don't really work properly, right? So basically, what we have here is that another fact is that because they're like this new company, the the government is not they're not above or or in sync with the government, if you know what I mean. So they're not at government level, right? They're at almost citizen level, just a rich company, if you know what I mean. Which means that they won't have any control over the media. Right? They don't have that kind of power to control the media. Which means that, right? But it, on its website, it advertises that it's, the, it's got the best computers in the world, right? So it ad advertises everything. Um, and, and it, but it doesn't have control of the media and it doesn't, so it can keep, um, you know, so it doesn't have control over censorship of bad reviews. So you might have forums of people that have bought from it on different websites and it's mainly bad reviews, like maybe you like, oh, I regret buying this computer. It's so slow all the time. It keeps breaking down all the time and it, it only lasts for about a year. And then you have to keep sending it back to the company and and uh, you have to pay more money so they can fix it, so they can send it back to you. Um, so they make, and that's how they make their profits is, is mainly through that by making sure that your computer never stays alive for, for the rest of your life kind of thing. Um, that it's gonna, it's that they profit from it broken, breaking down all the time. So you have to keep paying money for them to fix it, right? So, and then of course you end up having this other evidence that, see you the citizen, you've got the government on your side, right? Which means you've got the courts on your side, which means that you can take these people to court because you've got your evidence to and to back back up, um, you know, and you know, and you can have some of these people maybe put in jail for fraud, right? Because you've got your evidence, you got your facts, right? Okay. Now, when it comes to the to the to the to the, the medical world, it's a different ball, ball game altogether now, because the Rockefellers, they also have a history of swindling. They also helped the Nazis with eugenics as well. They're bad people. They're you know they're bad businessmen. They took over the medical world in the early 1900s. So John D. Rockefeller. Um, they they eventually get to, to rise into government level, and they created a type of fraudulent system in in the medical world. Um, to sell toxic drugs to the public, and the the Rockefellers made profit from keeping people sick all the time for the rest of their lives. So the patients would need to buy their drugs, and 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 then they would keep. So that was the fraudulent system, and of course because they've got the governments on their side, because eventually they they end up rising above governments, didn't they? The Rockefellers, um, they have control over the the media somehow because they've got the money to do it which means that the media will say it's the best that the, the best medical system ever and of course the Rockefellers would make sure people were put in jail for um, curing patients you know if a doctor cured a patient he would go to jail the, the medical world is is practically above the law right um, so the governments and the police are on their side, even the military are, right? Which means that because they've got control over the, the media, they can censor reviews, 
like maybe on YouTube, for example, they can take down um, advertise. You, they, you know, so if you so any kind of bad reviews about the medical system, it will get censored by the media. Yeah, you nobody will be able to hear about it, right? And it's because the medical world is at government level, which means they're not on your side. The governments are not on your side, right? So even if, even though you know it's a fraud, um, you know because they they would jail people for for curing patients because they can't make a profit anymore. Um, if you cure cancer, you get the jail um, because it puts the chemotherapy out of business. Um, and so that's how the, the medical system works because governments are on their side and not yours. You. you you can't take them to court, right, um, for fraud, even with your evidence, even if you have all the evidence to back up um, how much of a fraud the medical system is, right, it's not going to mean anything to the police, it's not going to mean anything to the military, it's not going to mean anything to the governments. No? Hmm. That's why the, the medical world can put anybody in charge like you know, of certain things like even people that don't have any qualifications like Bill Gates you know or you know Ted Ross or, um, they don't have a medical background you know and they can tell us what to do Ted Ross of WHO no medical qualifications a communist oh well So that's the difference. That's why um, you, you, that that's the situation that we're in. But now, if if this company that sells computers was to rise to the same level of the, that the Rockefellers are in, they would have the power to censor bad reviews in forums, internet forums. And they'd be able to have control over the media to say that we're the best, which means that you would end up having everybody in the whole entire world buying their computers and having problems with their computers. And and you, as a person that warned them not to buy those computers, um, they're not going to listen to you because the media has told them that it's the best in the world. and any bad reviews get censored on the internet so the person is not going to you know they're because they're relying maybe on the internet and the tv to tell them what's real right so you so that's that's the situation that you're in but and when it comes to companies we're not in situations like that but when it comes to the medical business that's the situation that we're in that that they are in they're at government level which means that Good luck trying to sue them, you know, because I don't think you'll be very successful with it. You know, that's why the medical world is very biased. And not only that, the Rockefellers also um, developed a, a, a system of, uh, a form of brainwashing system in the, in the medical schools to, um, to basically create a nation of workers and not thinkers. Because you know, to if you sniff, if you're if, to figure out that you're that you've been duped, you need to do some, some kind of thinking. You see, but because uh, the school systems are designed to stop you from thinking properly, right? Because uh, John D. Rockefeller, they created the education board. Most people can't think for themselves nowadays. You know, they just. They can work with facts and figures and things like that, but they can't actually think for themselves properly. You know? Because their initiative has been removed by the Rockefellers in the education system. So you end up having millions and millions of scientists around the world that have been brainwashed with certain beliefs that are not accurate. So anyway... Um, that's why a lot of things don't make any sense in the world because of the, the system that's been developed by the Rockefellers. Bye for now.